160 today. Gonna start out the ride. Mount Osman with Eli. That's it, bro. So, say hi to the camera. What's going on? You know, my mate Everest is here last Saturday. Really? This is a fuck till to Everest. I'll tell you that much. Yep, two kilometers in and I'd already puffed myself out. 158 more to go. But as I reached the crest of Mount Osman just over the horizon, I was filled with optimism for the ride ahead. Even though this was just a small portion of the ride and it was a very difficult climb for the first two kilometers, I reminded myself that a beautiful downhill awaited me on the other side of Mount Lofty. But now it's time for this fun section of Mount Osmond, which is partially downhill and partially uphill until we get to the freeway. And Eli found a side road on Mount Osmond, so we decided to take a little detour up it and see how far it went. That's why I love cycling so much, just the exploration of new areas is so interesting to me. That road just ended so abruptly, but let's get back on the main road. These driveways don't seem like they end at Murray Bridge, do they? Yeah, there are quite a few up here. Hey, hey how's it going? Good. Who's that? You know him? Yeah. Another reason I love the bike so much is because when you're in a car, you don't feel like you're actually at the place. But when you're on a bike, you're actually in every place that you pass through and you get to experience it. As a human being on the ground, you don't feel like you're just in some box watching it out a window. But here's the fun bit. My favorite part of Mount Osmond is the other side. It's sort of a benchmark for how quick, how aerodynamic a bike can be. Now. Typically, I'll do 50 kilometers an hour, although a lot of the records on here for cycling well exceed 80 or 90 kilometers an hour. This is one of the fastest descents in Adelaide. You notice how I slightly put my head down to get a little bit more aerodynamic, which can help me gain a bit of speed. On such a long distance trip on the road, you want to save energy as much as possible, and this gives me free speed, which saves me from having to put in as much energy on the pedals. This part of the descent is extremely loud, so yeah, it is a lot of adrenaline, but I love it for all of those reasons. I can't believe that was only 20 minutes yeah. up Mount Osmond and down. That's my PR, got to be. Thank you. You've motivated me. You've been a good personal well, trainer. Gonna, gonna yeah, of course, mate. Of course. Yeah, okay, drop it to me. With Eli heading back down the freeway bike path to Adelaide, it was my job to go the other way up into the hills. But it wouldn't be without smugly passing some people who had less fitness than I do. Morning. Now remember, this was about endurance, not speed, but I was still faster than most of the cyclists that I encountered going up this path. As I climbed up that hill, I started to have a reasonable suspicion that one of my tires was slowly deflating. Perhaps it had a puncture in it, so I decided to stop and check. Now, considering we were 
just under 10 kilometers into the journey. This would have been absolutely catastrophic if it were the case. So, let's find out. I did bring a pump, which meant that if I did have a flat, I could just keep pumping it back up, which could slowly but surely get me to my destination in the end. But I knew that it was very likely that I'd get a flat on this trip, as my tires were basically bald and they had holes in them going straight down to the bead. Yeah, yeah. Need these tires to last at least till Murray Bridge. <laughs> Honestly, it didn't look like that big of a deal, so I got back on the road and just hoped for the best. I suspect I have a leaking tire, leaking oxygen. You bet this hill makes me angry, so I just attacked it as hard as I could. Here is where Crafers starts, the famous, famous, famous town which is basically base camp for Mount Lofty. But of course, me being me, I didn't get much footage at all at Crafers, so... Sterling. In town. Yeah. I mean, this town is bustling, and uh, the downhill, I love that bit. I reckon we'll be okay. I'll just keep going on. And now with the little editing, we're now on what I consider to be the most treacherous piece of road for cyclists between Adelaide and Murray Bridge. Watch out, this one's just before Handorf. And what happens is there's a little shoulder, it's 80 kilometers an hour, and then the shoulder starts to slacken off because there's a creek crossing. So they place two barriers across. I'd say take a gravel detour if you can, and if you want to, but Obviously, when you've got big miles, you can't always make that detour. So, I was forced out into the road, and I had to wait here for ages because there was not an appropriate gap. It's a terrible design. No wonder there's a dead bird on the road. At least we'll get through. There's a bit of a bottleneck. I hate that little section. Oh, we're through. I don't celebrate too early. Back in Handorf, and I've actually covered this exact route in a previous YouTube video that I did called my first 100km bike ride, which I went actually further out than I did in this one, except that one was a one-way and not a return, and I actually got a car return. So yeah, kind of defeats the purpose of using a bike because it did some environmental damage, but it was fun. But I'd say this one was absolutely amazing because I went out nearly as far, but I was able to come back and I emitted basically no carbon, burned no fuel, did no harm to the environment, relatively no harm. But I'm sure you've all seen this German town, or Handorf as it's more commonly known, so I'd rather skip past it for this video's sake. What the fuck? Callington said 24 at the last sign, and now it says 25. <laughs> You're joking, who was making these road signs? I've gotten closer, but the distance to it's only gone up. Yeah, I'm not believing that. I am not believing that. Oh my God. Look, next to us, building a housing development there. Can't believe that. Parkland, Little Hampton. I just saw a car driving and he had his boot open and I tried to wave at him. He's still driving. Damn, you'd have to be real stupid to be driving 80 kilometers an hour with the boot open. I don't know how you wouldn't notice. Far out. Broken glass everywhere. I don't sound tired for someone that had like five hours of sleep. Madness. I I love it though. Absolutely love it. 
the first 100k an hour road of the trip and it's a climb. So let's get into it, suffer through it, just sprint it. I think I'll just end it and see what happens, I guess. As the time draws near In the south of the nation The event of the year There's the river, which is beautiful. Alright, I like seeing the river. It's a good sight. Very narrow bridge built. 1800s. Fresh uh, floorboards for it, I guess. No one is even out here. I've got the whole place to myself. Yeah, it's so nice. It's a bit sunny, a bit of wind. Oh. What else? I can hear the planes from Murray Bridge Flight School. It's nice, let's dig into this pizza. It's gonna be fun. Let's do another four. Let's just say five hours. So I get home about 6 p.m just in time for sunset. Do a few extra stops. Legit right there. Look at him. Oh no, he's moved. He's moved. Oh no. 
I think I ran the poor guy over because his head was caved in a bit. I had to do a double take there. But... There's the distances. Mount Barker's is it's over halfway back home. I've got 80k to go. Just under. Oh, so far you've heard my voice, but I brought two friends along. And next on the mic is my man Hank. Come on, Hank, sing that song. Check it out. I'm a C A S and. Doesn't it look amazing? Just is very good, like crappy. Best view in Adelaide. Well, it's not really Adelaide, but you know, best view in SA. Big, big shadows here. There's a massive cloud overhead. So now I get the nice chill of the wind. Just enjoying it really. Enjoying it lots. Once I get to Mondorf, it will basically be in the bag. It'll be very easy to go from Hondorf to home and it's 30 k's. So let's say it's 3.15 now, 4.5, 5. 5 5.15 I get to Handorf, and I hope 7 o'clock, we'll get back by 7, wow, that's a long time. Not many updates, because my GoPro went flat at Murray Bridge, but we're at Bridgewater and it's starting to get dark, so now it's a race against time. 151 kilometers on the clock, by the time we get to the bottom, it will be 160 or 100 miles. Just got a few corners and descent to navigate and we'll be back home in the suburbs of Adelaide. Adelaide to Murray Bridge, back to Adelaide. That was a challenge to find the drive to just keep moving. Physically, it was like a lot easier but the real challenge was like just finding the drive to keep going for nine hours on the bike. Oh. Although I am a bit tired, so we'll see when I get home. Only two kilometers and I've got it. <laughs> two kilometers and it's all downhill. It's handed to me. 100 meters to go until 160 kilometers. I gotta record this. And we are in the Adelaide suburbs. Oh my God, can't believe it. I'm so close to Adelaide right now. I can't believe I'm here. I made it. 160 kilometers in the bag, just like that. It started out as a joke, but the real challenge ends when we get back home, which I know I will, because it's only a few kilometers. And the real challenge after that ends when we save the ride and put it on Strava. 160 Ks, just like that. Just too easy. Hang on, I have not ridden this path since they put in that upgrade. And it looks like they've finished it as well to welcome me back into Adelaide. Welcome back to Adelaide. I'm nearly in the suburbs. Oh, man, I'm actually so close to home. It's been 163 terrible kilometers. I'm actually back. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it.